good, Israel. My people. How y'all doing? Good morning. This is your boy Shabuzo. Coming in the flesh. And blood and spirit. Are you slaves today? Well, I'm going to read this for you. And then you decide if you're a slave or not. Because most think they still free. But I say, as long as you sell the Federal Reserve, fiat, debt, monetary funds, you ain't free. Alright, here we go. It says, you don't own yourself, the Federal Reserve do. For a while I've been receiving emails from a good friend who asked me to investigate something weird about the birth certificate. He wanted me to take a look at them because they had certain numbers and other things printed on them that need an, expl an explanation. When I looked at my own birth certificate, I noticed it was a copy of the original. Alright. What I have learned since it's kind of like discovering that you are part of the matrix, it seems none of us have our original birth certificates. You hear that? Look, look at your birth certificate, it's not the original. Alright. They are all copies. And the copies have a serial number on them, issued on a special bank bond paper and authorized by the American Bank No Company. Alright? The truth is stranger than fiction. But here it is. It seems that back in 1913, the United States was short of cash. By the end of World War I, wartime costs had depleted the treasury and there were several really bad financial panics. The country needed to print more money than it had as equity to restore confidence in the money supply and get the economy back on its feet. When you or I need more money, we use, we use something as collateral, right? When you go get a loan, okay and go to a bank for a loan. When a country needs more money, it has to go somewhere also, right? But in 1913, there wasn't anywhere to go. So the U.S. created the Federal Reserve Act. Listen and look it up and do your study. This is established by a private central bank, the Federal Reserve Bank that would regulate the amount of money the U.S. government was allowed to borrow and put in circulation. It also would expect to be paid like any bank with interest. Right? After only 20 years, things went from bad to worse. During Franklin D. Roosevelt presidency in 1933, the U.S. was unable to pay its debt. The country was bankrupt. The private bank that made up the Federal Reserve demanded their money and Roosevelt responded. He had to use only he had he had to use the only thing left of any value to any value to pay the banks and continue doing business with them. The citizens of our country, us, we are the value. We're the ones are put up for collateral for the debt. We're not in debt. We're the collateral for the debt they borrow. All right, for the for the I'm sorry, not the debt, for the uh, money they borrow from whoever they borrowed it from, Federal Reserve Bank. We collateral, man. Every state collateral. All right. Exactly how all this was orchestrated is too lengthy, lengthy to be addressed here. But this much can be told. The original birth 
nationalization record for every U.S. citizen is on file in the office, the official records in Washington, D.C. You get to cop to keep a copy and the property of assets of every living U.S. citizen is pledged as collateral for the national debt. You hear me? So when they come, whoever they put us up for collateral, so who really owns us? Bro? Do you know who you are? Who really owns you? Who put you up for collateral? How you are slave? And you and you're um, perfectly cool with this. Like you use your birth certificate, your social security card to work and eat. You will never get this up. Man. This is the only way you can eat, right? It's a mark of the beast, man. Within two weeks and three days, each certificate of live birth is to be filed in Washington, D.C. Right. Evidence reveals that there is even a federal children department established by the Shepherd Townsend Act of 1922 under the Department of Commerce that appears to be involved in this process in some way. Every citizen is given citizen is given a number the red number on the birth certificate and each live birth is vowed at the at from six hundred and fifty thousand to seven hundred and fifty thousand federal reserve dollars in collateral from the fed so this ain't in your bank they already got this money when you was birthed that money done it said this kind from the Fed. This kind of makes you feel a little different when you look at a Federal Reserve Chairman, Nancy Ye Yellen, doesn't it? Okay, let's take a pause and look at the birth certificate below. You will see the red numbers and you will see the fact that it is, in reality, a banknote. Congratulations. You and I are commodities. You still been sold on the stock market. Like I said, bro, the Bible, I told this to brothers on Facebook. This book is dealing with legalese, which is law. So if you lack law, bro, you ain't even gonna know how you in bondage. Names in all caps on the birth certificate. Since the early 1960s, state government have issued birth certificates to persons with legal fishes names using all cap, caps names. This is not lawful record of your physical birth, but rather the acknowledgement of the birth of the juristic all caps, juristic all cap name. It may appear to be your name, but since no proper name is even ever written in all caps, either lawfully or grammar, Grammatically, it does not identify who you are. The birth certificate is the government's self-created document of title for its new property, you and me, in the way it makes as a kind of corporation whose company name is the same as our real name, but written in all caps. This corporation then generates taxes and wealth over its lifetime and in this way repays the collateral, the Uncle Sam. That, that Uncle Sam borrowed from the Federal Reserve. Mm. So America born from the Federal Reserve. That's how it works. That's crazy. Remember that bond bring printed bond thing that remember that bond thing printed on the bottom of the certificate. Bond. This is what it means. Bond. A usually formal written agreement by which a person undertakes to perform a, cer a certain act as fulfilled the obligation of the contract, with the condition that failure to perform or abstain will obligate the person to pay or some to pay a sum of money or will result in failure of money put up by the person or security, one who acts as security. And invest bearing document giving evidence of a debt issued by a government body or a corporation that is sometimes secured by a lien on property or is often designed to take care of a particular financial need. 
the Merriam-Webster Dictionary of Law, 1996, bank note, a kind of negotiable instrument, a promissory note made by a bank payable to a bearer on demand, used as money in many jurisdictions as legal tender, along with coins. Bank notes may make up the cash or bearer forms of all modern money. Birth certificates are a form of securities called warehouse receipts. The items include on a warehouse receipt as described at A702 of the Uniform Commercial Code, the law which govern commercial paper, the transaction which parallel a birth certificate, are the location of the warehouse where the goods are stored, residence, the date of issue, or the receipt date issued, the consecutive number of the receipt found on the back of or the front of the certificate usually in red numbers a description of the goods or of the packages containing them name sex date and a burp etc the signature of the warehouseman which may be made by his authorized agent municipal clerk or state register register signature birth certificates now appear to at least qualify as warehouse receipts under the uniform commercial code black's law dictionary seventh edition defines warehouse receipt a warehouse receipt which is a considered a document of title may be a negotiable instrument and is often used for financing with inventory as security it is not difficult to see that the state created birth certificates with an all caps name is a document evidence that the moment it is it is used so that's your receipt you got a copy of receipt man the mother get a copy of the receipt when she give her baby the property her property to the state this is why you can't get the 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 the, 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 the original copy because they keep the original copy. They, you gave the baby to them. You willingly give it to them. Like, here. My son need the birth certificate, social security card to be a great citizen. A great citizen in your um, country. So, you a ward of the state. You're, you're a child. You're stocks. You're bond. You're collateral. You better wake up, man. Once they state have registered birth document with the U.S. Department of Commerce, the department notifies the Treasury Department, which makes, which takes out a loan from the Federal Reserve. The Treasury uses the loan to purchase a bond. The Feds hold a purchase money security interest in the in the bond from the Department of Commerce, which invests the sale proceeds in the stock or bond market. The Treasury Department then issues Treasury securities in the form of treasury bonds, notes, and bills using the bonds as, secu as, as surety for the new securities. This cycle is based on the future tax revenues of the legal person whose name appears on the birth certificate. This also means that the bankrupt corporate U.S. can guarantee to purchase of their securities the lifetime labor and tax revenues of every citizen of the United States. America with birth certificate as collateral for payment. This device is initiated, initi initiated simply by converting the lawful true name of the child into a legal juristic name, juristic name of a person. Legally, you are considered to be a slave or in, 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 indentured servant to a various federal, state, and local government your state issue and state created birth certificate in the name of your all cap person birth certificate are issued so that the issuer can claim exclusive title to the legal person created thereby. So, what that said is, you think you free? Comment but let me know. Because you ain't free. Not using that birth certificate and social security card. Them is them bonds Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 60, 28, 68 is talking about. Do we need to read that? Because you still being sold and don't even know. Let's see.
Let's get Deuteronomy 28, 68. And we're going to see what it really says. This book deals with law. And a lot of Hebrews or whatever y'all want to call yourself, y'all don't deal with law. Y'all have do things. Been telling y'all this. No one listens. Y'all didn't listen to the Messiah either while we killed him. Because y'all thought y'all knew it all. Hated him. Let's get this. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And let's read it. Because a lot of y'all talking about, oh, they slaves. We know that. But pinpoint what's the bond that makes them a slave how they become the slaves and that's how you can break yourself out of this place get up out of here it says deuteronomy 28 68 it says and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships by the way thereof i spake unto thee thy shall see it no more again and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you you're not being bought physically but your paperwork is that you claim that the federal reserve then took a loan off of already six hundred fifty thousand dollars per child you heard me six hundred to seven hundred fifty thousand per child they get loans a lot of people saying you can get that money you can't get the money they already got it they already spent it Get that shit back. Give what seizures back to seizure. Can't keep it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all carrying around like it's really you. Stop it. That is ridiculous, man. You straddle on the fence. Let's go to first king. Let's see what it says. 4-1. First Kings 4 1. Let's see what it says. KJV. We're going to see. I'm going to show you how the Moors played it. But that's only different surgery with it. it. It has something to do with it because they was creditors. Who started teaching people how to be creditors and work their birth certificates? All You can get all this money that man asked was all a game. It's to put you back in bondage. Straight up. you this is law and it's creditors in the bible second kings i'm sorry my first second kings 4 1 it says now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto a lot alicia saying thy servant my husband is dead. Thy knowest that thy servant did fear the Abba, the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bond men. To be bond men. They weren't bond men before he came. They came with this paperwork and, and started doing paperwork. We got to come away from that paperwork, man. Put down the birth certificate, social security card, IDs, man. Boycott that. That is not yours. It's created to tax you. It's created to book you. It's created to railroad you. They can't touch what already pays for by the most high. The most high pay for us. We are the temple. We are the 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 the, the, uh, the body of the creator. We're his government. Belongs we he they divide the government of the most high we can't rule we can't be lawgivers can't love each other because we are blind lost and ignorant of everything y'all need to get that 
We're blind. We're dying. We've been destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You hear me? Been destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Let me get that for you. Hosea 4.6. He says, Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You're been destroyed because you don't have no, you don't know. You don't know what, what's popping, how to, how to, what's going on, how they doing you. And it says, it says, because thy has rejected knowledge, you reject it. When we come to you, it sounds crazy. You call us crazy. You rejecting all this knowledge. I would also reject thee. It said, he said he's going to reject you. And he said that thy shall be no priest to me. Seeing thy has forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The law. Law, 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 law. I can't keep saying that this book deal with law, y'all. Stop playing yourself. The agents then fool y'all thinking that it's commandments, commandments, commandments. Well, you can't live by the law or you can't live by the commandments, sorry, if you don't govern it with the law. This is common sense. You can't unite a nation if there's no law. You can't do nothing peacefully, righteously, if a law is not in place, how you thinking we're being controlled with policies and codes that ain't even law? Our law, most high law, is in harmony with the law of the land, but they're not upholding the law of the land, which is your law. They hide it and they live by it. They're exempt. They don't pay taxes and things like that. So they're claiming us all over the board. Wake up, man. It's law. It's law. Peace. Much love. To the men, stay masculine. To the women, be feminine. Have shame. Let these men be the head. And boycott the person to be. It's my first little video, so respect the comment, all that. I ain't trying to be aggressive. I'm just trying to be aggressive.